five, four, three, two, one. This is the Doctor bringing you set four of Quasling Oz vs. CJ Entis, and this is probably the mashup that everybody's been looking forward to. We have Jadong playing for Quasling Oz. Jadong as the white Zerg at the three o'clock position, and we have Lita playing as the orange Terry in the twelve o'clock position. Jadong, without a question, the best Zerg around these days. Lita, one of the best Terrans around, arguably just behind Flash and Fantasy. Although uh, I think he sort of occupies the tier of players with Sea Shield and Light, for instance. Nevertheless, a very good player, and in Pro League, certainly a terror, a force to be reckoned with. Jadong, no, um, uh, rather, I should say, Jadong, of course, is no stranger to pressure uh, and, and to skill and excitement and all that good stuff. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that Jadong is one of the great Zergs of all times, and this is going to be an exciting match to look forward here on Icarus. Uh, looks like we have an SEV being sent out by Lita just to wall off his supply, uh, or build a supply depot to start walling off. Jadong looks like he's going to go for the 12 hatch. Uh, he's got his second overlord morphing. So, uh, usually, uh, the, the, uh, the 12 hatch is the way to go, but, uh, well, that's not really telling. It depends on what exactly the Zerg does after that. There are quite a few things that Jadong could do. He could go for... I haven't seen two base mutilus um, very much recently. I think it's nice to bust out on occasion. All in two base mutilus build in the hands of someone like Jadong, absolutely deadly. Or it might be more of the three hatchery type play. Also good to know. Uh, and there's all sorts of variations. Of course, you can get the third hatchery and another base if you're a bold player. Uh, or, uh, for instance, Hydra against Flash. That was a very interesting play. Hydra nevertheless ultimately lost to Flash, but um, in that second set of their series in the semifinals. Uh, nevertheless, I thought it was clever play. Uh, it's just, it would have worked against any other Terran except Flash. I still don't quite understand how Flash actually survived, because it looked like he was down and out at several points in that game. Uh, anyway, Jadong is going to see um, Lita here, scouting the right direction with his Overlord. I should probably mention these things earlier. Uh, nevertheless, Jadong is not going to be too bothered uh, by this. Uh, rather, I should say, J uh, Lita is not going to be too bothered by this. Lita put down his factory. Critically, Jadong does not see it with his Overlord. So he does doesn't actually know that the factory has come up uh, there for Lita. Uh, nevertheless, he has a second Overlord coming that he might be able to see. It's just a bit dangerous to use that Overlord, though, because you can get it picked away at these by these Marines. Usually, you want to position the Overlord over the Cliffs of the Natural. Um, moving it out into the open like that can be very dangerous if you're not careful. Uh, fortunately, Nida only has one Marine, fortunately for Jadong, I should say. So, uh, Jadong backing off his second Overlord now. So, Lita, let's see what sort of play he goes for exactly. He's opted for a mech opening. Ah, oh, he's going for a Wraith. Interesting. Uh, this is going to be an exciting matchup here. Lita, I would say the best, and these two Korean girls are not hiding their faces. That's interesting. Uh, Lita, I would argue, has the best race control of any player with the possible exception of Baby. Uh, three! Oh, okay, no, that's that's a slide but I was freaking out there. Like, three starports, are you crazy, Lita? Um, although there was that game way back when it was Flash versus and Jadong responding perfectly with a Hydra list and he somehow knows that these raves are coming Jadong with map pack game sense here uh, Flash-esque I should say or that, that might be insulting to Jadong fans uh, Jadong-esque game sense here sniffing out that there's gonna be uh, mech I mean you put down Hydra list then to respond to vultures but Hydra list obviously is what you need to deal with raves so either way, Jadon's going to be covered. Uh, the critical thing, though, is actually Overlord speed for Rage. Without uh, and Jadon looks like he's researching Overlord speed in his uh, layer. So Jadon does have map hack game sense. He does know exactly what's coming for him. Um, so perhaps you know he knows Lita's reputation. Lita, a very good Wraith player, may go for this sort of thing. Nevertheless, Jadong is going to have the perfect counter here to Lita. So, so, and Jadong with a Zergling sneak spy. That was not a solid wall. Jadong sees this now for sure. I mean, he knew before already. 
but now he knows absolutely for sure with that single link. I had thought that was a solid walling, but apparently not. And Jadong very, very nicely with that scout there. And these two uh, Hydralis are going to be able to deal with these raves no problem. Uh, Lita might be trying to do some damage with these raves, but I fear they won't do anywhere near uh, the investment that he's put into them. He's managed to pick up one drone this far. Not going to bother Jadong at all. Jadong is going to start massing up Hydralis, and Lita is actually in some trouble. He's forced to put down a bunker at his front. He doesn't have resources to go for expansion. Uh, he's going to have to commit to these raves and get some sort of damage done, and, and either his Wraith Micro is going to triumph or he's going to lose. Uh, and that's how it appears to me at this point. Uh, Jadong already has speed upgrade on his Hydralis. His Overlord speed is going to be finished soon, so I really don't think these raves will do much for uh, Lita here, and you need to get some sort of damage done with these raves. Uh, just massing up uh, raves like this and not really doing any sort of havoc, uh, not causing havoc is, is not the strategy you want to employ. Lita managing to sneak in there and pick off second drone again. I don't think Jadon's going to be too bothered by that. Um, but unfortunately for Lita, there really isn't too much more he can do. He's managed to catch this Overlord here at the 1 o'clock position. Uh, but uh, Overlord and two drones, uh, Jadon can afford those losses. Uh, Lita now is researching Cloak. Uh, unfortunately for him, those Cloak is not going to do too much since Speed Overlord are already up. Uh, Lita going to try to pick off some Hydralis with these raves. Managed to pick off one. Um, Lita also sending out uh, SCV here. So let's see whether Lita transitions into some sort of uh, Medic Marine play or whether he doubles down here on his raves. He's actually being fairly clever with his raves, starting and out, picking away at a drone or two, getting another drone. So Lita is certainly trying hard here. At this point, I would argue he's definitely accomplished something with his raves. Uh, it's just not obvious to me that this is a game winning maneuver. Uh, Jadong is going to be fine, both economically and militarily, and looks like Lita has transitioned to a second barrack, so he is going to get some medic marines exactly what he needs to do to counter these hydras. Surely Jadong will have lurkers, some lurkers in position though. Jadong with uh, Overlord coming to scout this, he sees the academy, he sees the, uh, that there is 